Hey, hey you, Max. You got a friend in me. Hey friends, this is Brexton. I just wanted to touch base with you on a few subjects that's been going on. Um, the heat has really been affecting me and getting out and everything and also doing lives at night. But I will get back into them. I think our heat wave is about to end here in Texas pretty soon. But it's really real. I've been trying to stay out of the heat after about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And just kind of hibernating in the house. I know I should still be doing my lives and I miss my lives with my buddies and everything but I wanted to say to y'all that I apologize and I'm hoping to do a live I want to do a live tomorrow night me and Steve he'll be in the other seat over here uh, I'll try to have my phone hooked up to my new uh, mechanism in the window uh, so we'll see how it looks but um, yeah just want to say Texas Adventures with Brexton on YouTube is still going be sure to check out my video, I just released a, kind of re-released of a video and I added a little bit to it on Ian Kinsler, one of my favorite Ranger players ever. Got to meet him a while back when he was playing for the Rangers before their idiotic move of trading him to Detroit. But he did go there, I think, and won a pennant. So, hey, great for him. But uh, I do want to meet him again because I've got to talk to him when at that Ranger spring training. I'll, that's another story I'll tell you about. But the big story I want to tell you tonight is, tonight on the way over to my friend George's house, I uh, was going down Shallow Road, and when I pulled up to this light, the light was taking a little bit long, and I was just sitting there. So I kind of reached over on my nose, and I was just, I went like this, kind of like scratched it, and just as soon as I did, the light turned green. And I went, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I was like, boy, I twitched my nose like bewitch. Oh, hello. I just honked my horn. Terrible. Uh, so I wanted to touch bases and let y'all know. So I went on down to the next light. And as I got to the next light, there was a white truck staying right beside me the whole way. So I got to the next light. The guy next to me, speaking of honking the horn, he honks his horn. And I rolled my window down just a little bit. And... Um, he rolls his window down. His wife is in the passenger seat and he's in the driver. He said that we're laughing about this is because I think it's funny, but when you scratched your nose, you changed the light. And I said, I know, I started laughing about that too. He says, yeah, but you really impressed my son in the back seat. He thought you actually really did. He thinks you really did it. And so he rolls his window down in the back and all of a sudden his son is looking at me going, and he looks at his dad, he says, he twitched his nose, and the light changed. I was laughing. I just had tears in my eyes. I said, oh, my word. It warmed my heart to know the kid thought I had magic powers. But then the best part about the whole thing, right at the end, he, um, I looked over at him, and I said, I just kind of said, I was just scratching my nose, son. And uh, he just looked at his mom, and he touched her shoulder on the back in from the seat, and he goes, Santa? <laughs> and I was like, wow, I guess my beard does work a little bit. I need to get things fixed, but that was really, it made my night. So that was really, really cool. So, but then as I was rolling my window up and he was just there looking, his mom and dad were just, they were just, flat. the light finally turned green and we took off again. But um, as I did that, I drove by and he was looking out his window still with the window down. I rolled my wind up and I just took my finger and went like this and aimed, looked right at him and went, shh, and rolled my wind up and went on. So in his mind, I was telling him that was our secret. <laughs> but I wanted to let y'all know that that just made my night. And I'm sorry I made this a little bit longer video, but that, that was my night for Sunday night. Oh, I had the best time. I got to call back and let George know what happened. And, uh, but it was funny. So y'all have a wonderful time and we'll get back on these lives. And I've got some new videos coming up this week that I'm working on. Uh, hope you're enjoying them at Texas Adventures with Brexton on YouTube. Please go back and please subscribe. I still haven't reached that 500, guys. 
it's right now it's slowing down. I, I think I'm right at 300 and something right now. So I've got a lot of videos in there. If you like them, if you have some subjects you want me to try to do, let me know in the comments. Uh, like this video if you like it. But I just love doing these things. They're fun. And I, I try not to ever offend anybody. If that family is watching this and everything, I won't ever mention your names or anything like that. But your son just melted my heart and everything. I do do Santa during the Christmas season and I love doing it. I've been doing it for about 12, 13 years now. I've got quite a few clients that I still do every year. It's just fun. Um, so my first client is Logan and I know he's watching. So I'm not gonna tell Logan not to say your last name or anything, but he was only like about, even my very first Santa client. We met up at the gazebo at Town East Mall and uh, he had his little crayon drawings on his television from his uh, on, on a, from his refrigerator that he would give me, and it shows on there. So he wanted a fire truck, and it was just really cool. So I hung on to those things, and Misty, I will get those pictures to you as soon as I find them. They're in storage somewhere, but I want you to have those for memories of Logan. He's now like 14, 15 years old, I think, and uh, I think he would like to show his grandkids. It'd be kind of cool. And I'll always, I'll always be your Santa, Logan. If you ever need me to show up for your families, I'll be there for you, Bubba. So, y'all have a great day. Love you. Please sure to uh, listen out for my live tomorrow night. It'll be out on YouTube and also Facebook. See you later. And as I always say in all my videos at the very end, don't let the road hit you in the butt. <laughs> Talk to you later.